Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, with Phase 4 on the near horizon, I'm going to go over what you can do with the Zandalari tribe and Zulgarub when it comes out. And that takes us with to start with to Yojamba Isle. And it is located here in the Stranglethorn Vale, straight east or west of Zulgarub. You're just going to literally come out here to this island. And this is where there are trolls that you can um, do stuff with after it comes out. Right now, you can just talk to this dude, and he's like, If you've come to save the world, then you've come to the right place. The faceless one, the blood guard, Hakar, has been brought back into the wo our world. So that's pretty much all you can do right now. Um, it would unlock the Zandalar tribe for you. Um, we also get some cool uh, troll music here. I think this is a unique soundtrack. I don't think I've heard this really anywhere else, so that's cool. Um, but anyway, so ZG is quite a lot, and they throw it. You can't really do anything here with it until um, Phase Four comes out and the raid. However, it comes with some of the best rewards in the game for reputation and something you want to farm. Um, one of the best ways to get reputation is going into Zolgarub. It's the only way, other than just buying the things that drop there from other people who have been raiding. You can't really do any much else. Um, so there's a quest called a collection of heads, which is just kill a bunch of trolls that you can turn in. Um, you destroy a bijou, um, turn in three coins. You can use a Zandalari honor token. Um, and then there's an armor quest at friendly, honored, and revered, which gives you your set pieces, which the Zandalari sets, it's, I would look at them to see if they're good, but the mage one is not that good at all. Um, and then killing any of the bosses, really, or any of the trash in there does a lot of work. And then you can also turn in Librams for some really overpowered shoulder enchants, depending on your class. I know the mage one is. And all of these sources of rep are the same. Um, I would go show you guys. I'd head over there and go in there just to look and show you what we can kill. But unfortunately, we can't do that yet. Um, once it comes live, I will definitely make a rep guide and what you can do to farm it and actually show you instead of just telling you guys about it. But once you guys do that, um, you get access to a lot of unique and awesome rewards. So starting off with friendly, we have a dreamless sleep potion, which is pretty good for, um, if you're out of combat, you can just drink that or like while you're in combat, it gives you health and mana region. So like for fights where there's like a down period or something you can just pop that and you can start your regeneration which is pretty awesome then there's dark soul shoulders which are shoulders with one percent hit and 24 stam those might be pretty good for tanking um you can also make these crit hands which are male and then we have this leather set um, for engineering, which gives you a 2% crit, pretty good. Um, then we have these bat skin bracers, which are 1% hit bracers, and that's a bat skin set. You know, I'm not too sure if the blacksmithing and leatherworking sets are amazing. Um, and then once phase 5 comes out, you do get brilliant mana oil, but this is not usable until phase 5 with AQ. That's when they put the oils in the game, something that you can apply. And then most importantly, we have the Blood Vine set. Now, Blood Vine is amazing. Um, it gives you a hit bonus. Um, it gives you spell power. It, it, you wear Blood Vine and you'll pretty much be set on hit for a while. It's, it's insane. And so, with the Blood Vine set, what you're going to want to do is stock up on your Moon Cloth, your um, Iron Web Spider Silk, and Bloodvine once you're able to get it. You can't get it anywhere else but in the raid with a very special uh, slithe. And then we come here to Honored, which will have Bloodvine leggings, um, the other set pieces. 
um, for blacksmithing and leatherworking, as well as some engineering goggles, which are pretty good, I think. 2% hit, 1% crit, and 9 mana per 5. That's not bad at all, honestly. Um, you get access to some health and mana food. That's nothing incredible. Um, then a major Troll's Blood Potion. Regenerate 20 health per 5 every hour. Tanks are going to want to be using these. I'm not sure how much they sell for, but you know you can't go wrong with 20 health per 5 if you're not buff capped. No reason not to be making those and using them. That takes one Grom's Blood, two Plague Bloom. Nothing too expensive. Then once Phase 5 comes out, you get the Brilliant Wizard Oil, which is incredible. Um, but it's not here until Phase 5. Also another reason to get Fire Bloom ready. Um, if you have enchanting instead of a uh, uh, alchemist for those fire pots that we've gone over. Then we come to Revered, which gives you um, Bloodvine Vest. So at this point, you have the entire Bloodvine set, which is really awesome. Um, we can go over this Mage Blood Potion, which is regenerate f 12 mana per 5. This is amazing. Dream Foil and Plague Bloom again. Um, I'm going to be using so many of those on my Shadow Priest and my Mage here. Um, then we just have the other set pieces um for the blacksmithing and leatherworking sets which are the plate and mail ones um and then we come to some amazing um little buffs here for zg and they're like consumables so it increases the player's run speed for by 20 percent for two hours this is amazing for raiding um, you're gonna want to come and get these and then you're gonna be able to um, Raid I'm not sure Exactly which ones you can use but the swiftness one will let you Clear stuff way way quicker. So I'd imagine most raid groups are gonna be wanting to use those above everything else and then we come to exalted which gives you your um, Access to these wonderful and crazy enchants that add 33 um, spell power to shoulders. Right now, the only shoulder enchant in the game is the Argent Dawn one, which is 5 all resist and 5 of any resist. 5 all resist if you're exalted, 5 of anything else if you're not. And then we also have the Living Action Potion, which makes you immune to stun and movement impairing effects for 5 seconds, and it cleanses you. This is so much better than a, a free action potion. Um, you can stockpile Ice Cap Mountain, Silver Sage, Heart of the Wilds, because these are going to sell like crazy. Because one, you have to get Exalted, which is no easy task, especially in Classic. Like You're going to be grinding and grinding. You will eventually get it if you just do the raid every week. But if you were to grind out Exalted on an Alchemist and get this ASAP, you can make a lot of money. Um, Ice Cap, Mountain Silver Sage, Heart of the Wild, all great items to do this. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for um, just an overview of the factions and what you can get from Zandalar. Like I said, I would show you what we could do to go kill them, um, but you can't do anything until you're actually in ZG. Um, one other thing is there is a class quest that you can get that gives you a class specific um, enchant while you are doing ZG. And that is, um, it drops off of someone, one second. I was looking at this a moment ago. Uh, enchants. There we go. So, Presence of Sight. So, this is the um, mage one here. And it permanently adds 18 to all healing and spell damage and 1% chance to hit um, with spells to a leg or head enchant. This is better than the current 8 spell damage that we can get from Dire Maul. So I'm not a thousand percent sure how to get this. Um, I would give you more information if I could find it or knew. 
Um, but just be aware of these. Make sure you look at each of them. Every class is different. I read through them all, and Mage is definitely the best one. Um, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the Zandalari um, intro. Uh, once Phase 4 comes out, or even a Phase 4 announcement date, we can get into more details on what to do, how to farm this stuff, and what we can get. But until next time, guys, I will see you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.